how do you find the time in a modern society like ours to feel and heal? You had these hopes and dreams of birthday parties, marriage, graduation from college. All those things are instantly gone. And at first the shock and the denial, my loved one is really gone. After the funeral, the reality starts to set in and someone realizes it's real, they're not coming back, and they may even feel vulnerable. What else is going to go wrong in my life? Many people believe if they have faith, they shouldn't grieve. It's not the case. Faith can be one component of loss and grief, and sadness can be another component, and they don't need to conflict. We can have faith and still feel sad. We all grieve differently, just as we're as different as our thumbprint. We grieve in our own way. Someone may need to protect themselves, not go to a wedding when their child will never experience a wedding. After a certain amount of time, we encourage people to push themselves to go to things. But at first, they may need to protect themselves. One of the struggles that individuals have that are grieving is that they worry about how people respond to their true feelings. So they put a mask on. They wear that mask to protect themselves. Then when they get home, they'll take the mask off, cry and mourn, and sometimes that's okay. With time, people will grieve less and will grieve less often. You have greater control of when you feel that grief and where you go with that grief. They will find a new normal. The new normal is different than the past but they can still find peace and happiness and hope.